Hello everyone! I look naked. I look very bare right here. We will, I just, I'm hopping on a couple minutes early just so that we can get going on time. Um, feel free to get your beverage and your notebook. Oh, excuse me. Killing time. Hello, Jamie. Rockstar Jamie. Rockstar Jamie. Feel free to say hello when you hop on. Hop on. Tell me what you're drinking tonight while you're watching team training. I'm drinking ice water because that's my drink of choice. In New Zealand, <laughs> in America, it's Southern Sweet Tea. Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. In um, America, we have G.I. Joe dolls and the whole go, Joe. Hi, ho, Joe. Lovely glass of wine. What color wine, Jamie? Hello, Deborah. Or Deborah, or I just keep meeting people that pronounce that completely different. Hello, Tracy, one of my personal rock stars. Hello, other rock star, Lucy Harrison. Whoop, whoop. Why didn't it work? There it goes. Who you calling a lady? Who you calling a lady? Did you get my Marco Polo message, Tracy? Gave me a little hard tack there. Thought I was really sucking balls with a... Hello, Linda Bradley. Nice to see you. See you, you know, you know what I mean. White wine, can't beat it on a Tuesday. I will take your word for it. Lana, or Lana. Um, Janice O'Neill, pet it. <laughs> Jamie, I have never drank alcohol. I can legit say it. I don't think I've tasted wine. I've tasted a, a sip of something here and there, but I don't even think wine has appealed to me. If it's blue or fun looking, I'll try it, but usually I don't like it. Hello, Annette, sicky. Hello, Chelsea. Coming on, it's 8.31. God, two minutes goes really fast. You're missing out. No, I don't think I am. I do not think I am, but thank you. <laughs> you can have it all to yourself. Nope. I was talking to, on one of my coaching calls today, I was talking to somebody about drinking. Oh, Nicole, I was talking to. Just never, I watched people drink and I didn't like what I saw. And I can relax in other ways. I also don't have children, so I don't really need too much relaxing. <laughs> it's all good, Tracy. Keep me on my toes. Absolutely, keep me on my toes. All right. Everybody have a drink. What's everybody drinking? Jamie's drinking white wine. Whatever, what else is everybody else drinking? Annette, you better be drinking Lem Sip. Anybody else? Who else is drinking stuff? Drinking, drinking ice water. I know you Kiwis and you're like, it's winter, how can you drink ice? Actually, I hate Lem Sip, so I hope you're drinking whiskey or bourbon or tequila to kill it. I don't know, whatever you're drinking. All right, please make sure you have a pen and paper ready. Um, because I'm going through lots of little things tonight. Um, I sat down and I made a list of things I wanted to go over. And there's some things, usually I never know exactly what I'm going to talk about. And then all of a sudden stuff comes up. And when stuff comes up and it comes over up more than once, I know we should probably talk about it. So coffee. You're one of those amazing people that can drink caffeine this late at night and still go to bed. I love pineapple juice, but I have a geographical tongue. So if I drink it, my tongue swells if I have too much. Oh, Lucy, it's not, my bump is be was better than yours. So <clears throat> hello, Sarita Pryor. All right, first thing we're gonna talk about is 
mini warmer bases and bulbs. Can you can you hear me or is do I need to turn the heat pump down? Because I'm at where I dog sit. Hot chocolate. Now you're talking Linda Bradley. That's what I'm talking about. Because if that's too loud, I'll turn it down before I keep going and people say they can't hear me. Is that too loud? I'm good? Okay. I'll try to use my American voice. Oh. Okay. Let's talk about mini warmers. Let's just talk about mini warmer bases and bulbs. Okay. Thank you, Deborah. Um, I'm going to talk about this one time. So hear me. <laughs> It's only a problem in New Zealand, first of all, not that I'm aware of. I don't know if it's a problem in Australia, but I know it's a problem in New Zealand. And it has something to do with the electrical current here. And we have the most amazing mini warmers. They are probably one of my top selling items. So I'm just gonna tell you that I love them. I use them, I've used them since they came out. I will continue to use them and so do my customers. They love them. The problem is there is a safety feature and I'm trying to find Chuck Thompson's like explanation of this, but it's a safety feature that happens if the ball blows that it doesn't do something major to the electrical. So instead the base sorts itself out with the bulb. I will try to find a more technical answer for you, <laughs> but I'm trying to explain it. It happens once in a while. It doesn't happen always, which is weird too. And if you saw the post the other day, we are noticing that one, here's, here's your tips with mini, mini warmer bases. The first one is, when you put the bulb in the base, when your customers, make sure you're teaching your customers, take the little plastic bag that the bulb comes in and just open up the end by the, the threaded part of the bulb. Open that up, push the threaded part through and hold on with the plastic onto the bulb so your skin isn't touching the bulb and use it to twist in the bulb into the base and then put the shade on, right? The reason why is a lot of times we have oils on our fingers and when you touch a light bulb, any light bulb, with oils on your fingers, it creates hot spots and it can blow the bulb very quickly. Second tip is turn the mini warmer off on the base and not at the wall. Apparently that's a good thing that people have noticed. I'm just kind of sharing things. The other thing is, I hate to say it, but the people that leave their mini warmers on all the time seem to not have as many problems as the ones that are always turning it on and off and on and off and on and off. Oh, now the heat pump went off. And the animals are running through. So those are three tips that I kind of share with my customers. I'm looking at making something to put in the boxes or a sticker or a label on top of the boxes. Um, I'm thinking maybe Ann Russell maybe has one already. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Um, that's one itty bitty cat that's running through by the way. Um, the other thing I recommend is every time you sell a mini warmer, you say, would you like a replacement bulb right away for that? Just in case. I've never had anybody say no, never. Um, I do let people know I don't keep stock on hand, but I usually have bulbs on hand. Um, I use, I don't like to spend a lot of money on Scentsy. So when I have free stuff or half price items, I get 15 watt bulbs. Absolutely all the time. I usually have about 10 in stock at most times. Right now I'm running low because it's been a crazy week with mini bases the last week. Holy crap. Um, so, um, it's good to have extra bulbs. It's better if they order their own dang bulbs. Um, like have one replacement bulb when they order it. 
And I have two extra bases at my house, ceramic mini warmer bases, not the glass ones, sadly. I need to get one of those. Um, and come to think of it, I've never had a glass base blow. Huh, just thought of that. They're always the ceramic ones. Um, I have two bases because I have the different shades and I don't actually change, I don't use the bases because I just need to change the shade in the outlet. Um, so I use those bases to swap out faulty bases when it happens and therefore they can get the base right away and I have the replacement sent for, to me um, and um, and then they don't have to wait and they can get using their item and they can get using their wax and everything like that because a lot of times it happens right away. They get the blow right away. So either when they turn it on the first time or within the first hour or in the first week. So be prepared for it, handle it professionally. I just go, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Every once in a while there's a glitch or a, I don't know. Um, I'll have a replacement to you. I'll get that out to you tomorrow. It's kind of what I do. If I don't have one, then they're going to have to wait. Um, but I do try to get one from somebody. Um, you also want to make sure that if you're doing, if you're doing a replacement that you have them keep their rubber washers because the rubber washers come with the shade, not the base. I really wish they'd change that. I, but seriously, that's one thing when you're about to do that, say, keep the rubber washers because those come with the shade, not the base. So that's another thing. Um, if somebody's missing those, you can contact Scentsy um, Consultant Services and they can send you some more rubber washers. Um, anytime you have any trouble with anything, your pay, your orders, missing items, faulty items, um, whatever. The box comes, looks weird, something's missing. Just go immediately, immediately and just contact consultant services. You don't need to post on the team page. You don't need to ask if anybody else has had this problem. Just go fix it. Um, I legit could keep you busy with all the things that I have to sort and things I have to, when you do the amount of volume, a lot of times I do, or like Ange does, um, or even some of the other ones now, you guys are all like coming in hard with your PRV. Um, when you're doing that amount of volume and you're, you know, I'm getting what, five to six mini warmers in, in every party order kind of thing. Um, I know the last one I had four people at the party and two people bought a perfect Scentsy with mini warmers. So, and then somebody else bought another mini warmer and a full size. And do you know what I'm saying? So I sell a lot of them. And if I didn't really think it could get fixed and they'd be fine. I wouldn't push them. Um, when we first got lampshade warmers, the base is on the crystal, the crystal cream, cream, cream diamond, cream diamond, help me, um, was freaking everybody out because that the bases were blowing on the big ones. Now that we haven't had that problem. So they are looking at fixing that. The other thing is we have seen in the pipeline that they might be adding that third prong. So that'll help ground it a little bit better. I don't know how, if that's coming, not coming exactly. I know it's been discussed and somebody got one. So just letting you know. So does, before I move on from this, do you have any questions on the mini bulbs or, and the mini bases? I just always say have, have them in stock. You know, use your use your free and half price items and get some bulbs and get just a couple extra bases. Because I know when I talked to Grizz last week, I talked to them twice in one day because of mini bases, and um, they are aware of it. Since he is looking at it, so yeah. So they are aware and they will sort hopefully soon and give us an answer or whatever's going on. I know there's a little bit of a lag, so I'm just checking in. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Sammy. Um, any questions on those? They are amazing products. It's just, and it's something with the New Zealand electrical. Grizz. Yes, Grizz. All right. 
moving on. All right. Next one is the slingshot incentive. Who is chasing the slingshot incentive? This is our last month. July, the end of July is the last month. Who is looking to get level one, level two, or level three of the incentive? Have you gone to the incentive tab on Workstation and looked at the amazing selection of prizes? You guys, you all saw the, um, the butterfly diffuser and the butterfly warmer. So a lot of people aren't having problems so much with the PRV, but maybe you're having trouble with getting Teamy certified. Um, it is a bit weird because you don't want to make people go get active just to help you out. Um, yes, the net's chasing, a net's chasing. Um, but the idea behind this business is that if you help people succeed, then you succeed, right? So what's in it for them? How can you help them? One of the biggest ways, hey, Samantha and Glenda, um, one of the easiest ways to get somebody certified um, quicker, especially within 30 days, is legit make sure that they're getting their um their shooting star and then have them do it again that's the easiest best way and if they live near you make sure they're doing a launch party so that you do the party and you help them um get that prv plus it's a training opportunity um, i don't do it for everybody there's some people that are pretty confident or think they can handle it and that's fine or they've been to like 20 of my parties and they know they don't need me um and um so go Kirsty. and um so when you have you can either help them with their with their launch parties or when you have parties in your book in your calendar this month gift those parties to those hosts or somebody at the party and therefore you're helping them get started already with prv that would pay them back for their kit um, plus you're getting them certified and active as well so um at least getting closer and it's easier for them to go okay now go get another 500 prv that's not that hard so um so those are some ways to look at it you have a month a month is a long long time and sensey time right don't think oh i don't have enough oh i don't have this oh i don't have this if you go in already thinking you're beat and that you can't do it you aren't gonna do it you can't give yourself like negative self-talk or let um i work a lot with the awesome marketing planner and she always claire always calls it mind monkeys they play around in your brain and they tell you things that aren't true um, you can't do it and oh, it's too hard and all these things that are lies, basically. If you want this, you can make it happen, but you have to do it. And even when you're relying on other people like your teamies, it can be frustrating sometimes. But just to give you an idea, I so far have recruited nine people in this incentive and until yesterday two certified so that was april may and june so that was three months worth and the first one to certify was tracy hello tracy she was my first one i recruited in the in the in the incentive the second one i recruited in the incentive same day was lucy and she was the second one to get certified the ninth one that I recruited was Beth, and she was the third one to get certified, just to give you an idea. She joined last month and certified last month. So you just never know. You never, 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 never know, okay? But you have to go in with at least give it all you got. And I always come back to when you, you may not watch boxing or you may not watch UFC fighting, I'm a big UFC fan, but can you imagine walking into the octagon or the boxing ring and thinking, oh, it's too late, I'm not gonna win this. Can you imagine how bad that person would get their ass kicked if they walked into a ring with that headspace? No, you always see them like, brother, I'm gonna do this and nobody can beat me and 
You have to psych yourself up about stuff like this. Yes, it's a little frightening. You might not get it. But if you if you think and you only tell yourself you're never going to get it, you won't. You have to psych yourself up. You have to give yourself positive reinforcements and affirmations and know that you are doing the best that you can, that you did everything in your power until the last second. And then you have no regrets because even if you miss it, you know you did your best and the worst case scenario is you grew your business during that time. Now, then you have the people that lie to themselves and go, I didn't really want it anyway, which is bullshit because everybody wants free stuff for the most part, any people that I would know anyway. Even if you just sold it or gave it away as gifts, it's less money you have to spend on gifts, right? So, hey, Crystal. So, Slingshot, last month, don't quit yet keep going get that prv in get your calendar make sure you got things planned what do you got planned um i was talking today um to someone as well about the calendar i book two months in advance it's just something that's always i've just kind of always done um because that's kind of how it happened because usually my current month is usually full so i have to book the next month or two and um, and when you're at a party, I'll say when I'm at a party, I offer a free warmer when to the host um, when she has three bookings from her party, she will get the warmer of her choice after that third booking has held. But for me, I need to make sure that I'm setting up my hosts for success. So if there's a group of people and they're at this party and three people are gonna book parties, I say, are you all coming to everybody's party or do you all have different friends and circles of friends? And when they say all different, I'm like, great, we can book whenever. We can book in two weeks, we can book next week, we can book whenever. If they're all going, oh no, we all pretty much know the same people, I'm like, okay, you should all book a month apart. Because by that point, people have used things and run out, we have different promotions, we have different products, so you want to set them up for success and you want to make sure that you're not wasting your time or their time and making a poo-poo of their party because everybody just is going to get a couple bars of wax and maybe a little tub of washer with hopefully a, t a big tub, but you know what I'm saying. So don't go in and flip your calendar over and go, oh crap, there's nothing there. You should know what's there the month before. So that is one of my biggest tips ever that I can give you all the time, all the time. Make sure you don't flip your next calendar over and go, oh crap, there's nothing there. You should have been working on that the last two weeks of the last month so that you go in with business and you don't have to worry about where your money's coming from. You know, you might not need the money and you may not need the steady income. I do. So if I don't have that sorted, boy, I got to get creative. So why not make sure it's already sorted and taken care of? Um, which brings me to the next incentive. A new incentive will start on the 1st of August. We have some rumors. I've heard a couple rumors. And since I'm putting this on YouTube, this training video, I'm not going to tell you what the rumors are. Um, I have heard it's a cruise. I heard I have heard it's global, but I'm not going to tell you locations um, only because if I'm really wrong, this will go rampant on. Yeah, no, not telling any more. And again, it could be all lies. I have no idea. This is just rumors that I hear from different directors and star directors and superstar directors. And I just kind of go, what do you know? What do you know? What do you know? So people tend to tell me, you know what I heard today? So again, rumors. I don't know. So the good thing about global is we get to see all of our friends and we get to see Jacqueline and we get to see all those people um, when you're in the trip that you normally don't get to see from the States and everywhere. The other thing is, is when you earn for two, you can bring anybody from anywhere in the world with you. So that's how I get my, my relatives in America to go on the trips with me. When it's a regional trip, it has to be within the Australia, New Zealand. When it's a global, it can be anybody in the world, obviously, because 
that's where all the consultants are coming from. So when I went to the um, free cruise to Spain, Italy, and France, I took my cousin who lives in Mexico. And he's like one of my best friends on the planet. So that was really great to treat him to a free holiday um, on a cruise and just hang out with him for a week. He slept a lot. He was very tired and I knew he needed the break. So, um, so what the reason why I'm talking about it now and why I segued into it the way I did with the calendars, you want to make sure your calendars are already looking, starting to book up in August and September. You want momentum starting now to carry you through. It's usually a six month incentive. Usually, again, they could change things and as it happens. But the easiest way to do is get as many teamies as you can that first month in August. So if you're talking to people already, and August is a bigger kit, they get a, a, an expanded kit um, because they'll get the current scents and the current catalogs, but then they'll also get the new catalogs and the new scents that are coming in September. So August is sale month in Scentsy Land. Almost everything is 10% off in the catalog. So when you're booking parties for August, like Sunday, I booked two parties. And I said, well, do you want another? Because she was going to do different people. I said, do you want a party still in July? It's up to you because she's going to invite different people. I said, August is sale month and September's new catalog. So, okay, one of you pick that one and one of you pick that. And they did. So, you know, I already have four parties booked in August and I already have four parties booked in September because I'm already kind of booking it that way so that I'm stacking things so that when it comes, it's already there kind of thing. You're not panicking like, I need to get bookings. Oh, I need to get team members. Oh, I need to get this. When you have the business already set up and you're already working ahead of time and not working at the exact present time, if you will, everything goes a little bit smoother. So um, for those of you who haven't seen this, this is my booking calendar. And I just carry this around to parties. And basically, when someone goes, I'd like to have a party, I hand them this and go, put your name and the time anywhere there's not an X. Because there's certain days I have X'd off. There's certain days I write in what travel tips I'm doing. Um, August is pretty messy because I'm gone for two weeks of the month. Um, so I'm making sure that I have my parties booked for when before and after. But you want your, your events booked. You want your markets booked. You want to get your parties booked, sip and sniffs, whatever sharing appointments is, whatever sharing appointments float your boat and work for you, that's what you want. And you want as many as you can in your designated Sensi time, because everybody has different time frames to, to do their Sensi business. But if there's a space that you have designated as your Sensi work time and there's nothing in it, then you need to start use that time to work on your booking, selling and recruiting. Those are your three things in Sensi. Nothing else. Sample making is not an income producing activity. Um, tabbing your catalogs, um, stamping your stuff. That's extra stuff and if you have kids, kids can do that. Um, you need to be using you for the booking, the selling and the recruiting because that's where the money is. That's where changing lives happens. That's where all that happens. But so I just wanted to give you a little heads up and a little tip, I've earned every single trip that's been offered since I joined. It's been nine trips in a little over four years. Some were leadership ones and some of them were incentive trips. So um, once you go on a Sensi incentive trip, you never wanna miss it. You are treated so well, it's so much fun. And it is the best advertising to people that know and love you that you're serious and that um, you did it. And, you know, we have a couple people that are in the team that have done um, Katrina Black and Angela Russell also earned the Mediterranean cruise. And um, we had Jenny Bray and Michelle McDonald back in a couple years ago that earned Singapore with me. So, um, it's not hard, but you need to be consistent. So you need to find a rhythm and you need to find a routine. 
and you need to decide. If you decide you're beaten as soon as it starts, because you like, I don't know what the parameters of this is yet, but if you look at it and you decide, oh, that's just way too hard. Well, that kind of tells me where your headspace is, doesn't it? If you look at it at a big lump sum, like, oh, I can't do that. I only do this part time. Only, I only do this for this. I only do it for myself and my friends. I only, I only, I only. Well, that's cool, but there's a couple I only's or a whole bunch of them. If you're using your time wisely during the when I have time moments, you know, I'm, I'm gonna start reading this book, The Four Hour Work Week, because I truly don't work that much. People think I work all the time, but I don't. Um, and I've been working less and less and less lately um, because I've learned to work really smart with my time. It's not scrolling. If I'm on Facebook and I'm scrolling, if you see me taking quizzes, it means I've done my work because I don't allow myself to scroll until I've done my work. And if you have time to scroll on Facebook, there best be a post about your business somewhere because that's just an easy one. Why, why waste your time doing that when you could be making some money? So at least put a post there and then go waste some time. Like, just seems very logical. So any questions about the slingshot incentive or the new incentive that's starting or how to get ready for that? Hello, Greer. Um, we are, I am going to be scheduling an online and an in-person girl, yo trippin', um, get together. That's what it's going to be called. Yo trippin', girl, you'd be trippin', um, to plan for the trip once we get the announcement of, um, the points and how you do them and we will go through that. So we will do an in-person one probably at Sticks and Stones in Northwood, um, it's one of my favorite places to hang out in Christchurch. Um, and then um, I'll do an online one too for everybody that lives far away. So it's time to get tripping, y'all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, it's that time of the year where we vote for Wonder Woman of the Year. Um, or if it's a guy, it can be wonder whoa man of the year so um in the post that i in this video post there's a link for a google form and i i am really 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 pleading and begging with you to take a moment and go fill that out and nominate somebody from team wonder bar this is team wonder bar only and Every year we give, I give a trophy, um, a framed picture of all the things or nice things and quotes that people said in the nomination forms um, and the nomination forms to um, the, the, the winner in the end. Um, it's become, it's a very emotional thing for people. Um, if you heard me talk about the, um, the Shining Star Award in Sensi. It's the highest nomin it's the highest award in Sensi, the Shining Star. Um and you it's you are voted by by your peers. And even if you don't win, you get the nomination form sent to you. Sensi sends them to you in a pretty little folder and you just sit and cry because nobody understands how amazing and and worthwhile and appreciated and admired and inspired by you are sometimes until you see it written down and somebody is saying it that you didn't even know noticed you um, please do not no nominate me because I'm giving the award so I won't be a winner if you want to nominate it's fine but you <laughs> but I'm not gonna be giving myself a trophy. That would just be weird. <laughs> um, can you nominate more than one? I guess. Um, I guess. Um, you wanna nominate somebody that demonstrates the Sensi core values of authenticity, generosity, and simplicity. You want to nominate somebody that is helpful and inspiring and um, sets a good example in her own business 
you know, that walks the walk and talks the talk. It, because there's nothing worse than somebody that goes, I'm not, you should do this and you should do this and they're not doing it. Um, I have a problem with those people, to be honest. <laughs> that might be just my own hang up, just putting it out there. Um, but that's why I share my stats with you guys. It's not to brag, it's to show you that I'm out there doing it with you. Um, I still have to go talk to all the people. They always say directors are people that have heard the word no more than you have. And, and that's the thing. When somebody says, oh, I can't book any parties. Oh, nobody wants to join my team. And I say, how many people have you asked? How many people have you talked to? And they go, oh, about 10. Well, that ain't going to cut it. If one out of 10 is the one, you know, and one out of 10 is when you get kind of like smoother at it and more comfortable and it becomes part of. But sometimes you have to ask 50 people. That's why your list of 100 is really important in the beginning when you start. Um and that's why you should always aim for level three of an incentive, because if you miss it, at least you probably hit two or one. But if you aim for one and miss it, you got nothing. So that's the whole point. You want to shoot a little higher than you're comfortable with. You have to get uncomfortable. You have to get uncomfortable a lot to succeed in life with anything. Even when you start a new job and you think about starting a new job, wherever that is, I don't care if it's McDonald's, if it's an office, whatever, that first day, you're nervous. You feel uncomfortable. You feel out of sorts. You feel like you don't belong. You feel like an idiot half the time if you're like me because you've had to ask the same question three times and you finally write it down and then you're like, oh, I didn't write it detailed enough and now I still have to ask. Um, you know? It's, it's how, but you get better at it because you show up every day and you show up and you look at your notebook and your notes and you try things and you keep using it every day and you practice what you have to do and you get better and you get smoother. Since he's the same exact way. Nobody comes in being an expert and a know-it-all and that knows everything. Nobody, nobody. We all start with a kit, a little bit of nausea in our tummy, a lot of excitement, and we have to get through it. Nobody came to my, I didn't know about Shooting Star. Nobody came to my launch party. Nobody freaking drive out to me wherever I lived at, you know, on Leithfield. But I got on the phone and I still stood there with my display all set up. And Earl was even on the couch waiting. And he's like, I don't think anybody's coming. I'm like, okay, well, I better get on the phone then. And I got on the phone. And I just started texting people. Like, hey, I have my launch party today. I'm sorry you couldn't make it. What can I get you? Here's a link to the catalog. You have to be willing to put yourself out there. You have to have somewhat faith in nothing else but a number system. Because let's be honest. I told you the other day, kind of, oh, uh, was it the sent the, the flash sale? I sent 936 text messages. I counted them for you because I didn't care. But I wanted you to know 936 text messages. I probably got about eight replies. And all together between my emails, which is about 500 people, my posts on Facebook and 900 and whatever I said texts, I got like, what, 30 orders, 28 orders? Do you know how many people I didn't hear from? Oh, a good 900. <laughs> so did I take it personally? No, that's not my job. My job is not to get attached to that response. My job is to do my job and tell people about it. Does Briscoe's contact me or get appalled or quit or feel offended or take it personal if I don't shop their sale? No, they're going to annoy me tomorrow with another one. You are a business. This isn't personal. Until somebody tells you to F off, not interested, and usually they don't say that. Just, just go, can you please take me off your mailing list? Oh, I got a couple of those too, by the way. Um, I always get those. <laughs> Stop taking everything personally. They are in charge of your bills. They are in charge of your free vacation. They are in charge of your putting clothes on your kid's back. They're not in charge of groceries in your house and feeding your family. They're not in charge of helping your husband retire early so that you, can do, you two can spend more time together. Or they're not in charge of your escape plan to leave your husband. <laughs> and I tell you this because there's uh, several of you out there that are on tonight that have told me we talk. And I was one of those people at one point that I'm like, I just have to make enough money to leave the guy and not need any help. 
There's nothing better you can do for your kids than be independent and not need a second income and not need to ask a man for money if you are staying home with the kids all day. Empower yourself. So stop caring what other people think. Stop, you know, what if you want a nicer phone and hubby says, oh no, you don't need a nicer phone. And I'm like, it's not really up to you. I want a nicer phone. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do you want it or not? And how bad do you want it? Then go earn it. It's the same thing you want to teach your kids. You got to, you got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Oh, Lucy or cats. <laughs> if you want your cats and dogs to have a better lifestyle, make sure you do your shit. Um, so I get really preachy about this because I've been in really abusive relationships and I've been in the relationship that I just was in where, um, he now has passed away. And this brought me up to another talking point that actually I was going to talk about anyway today, which is July. The 4th of July in America is Independence Day. It is the day that America became independent. And Independence Day for me, when I'm not in America, it's a time for me to reflect. Am I happy where I am? Am I independent? What does independence look like to me? Do my kids, not you, not my kids, do my friends, do my family, do whatever. I care more about what I think of me than what other people think of me. So my big thing before Earl died was I need to make sure that I work my business enough that when Earl dies, I don't have to um, live with a roommate that I can pay my bills and that I can eat and feed my cat. <laughs> and and I it's been six months. And I went, wow. And since he's always, for the last year, year and almost a half now, oh no, more than a year and a half, I've paid everything with my Sensi money. So people who think that you can't make money at this or that it's not stable or it's not secure enough is crap. And a lot of people will tell themselves that because they don't believe in themselves, which is also crap, but I get it because enough people have beat you down that you don't believe in yourself. But I'm telling you, you can do this. The more videos that you watch in the, like the aha moment group or the United we stand group, or you have to be inspired by somebody. If I don't inspire you, if my words don't speak to you, there's somebody out there that, that, that does. I promise you. Go find them. And you won't find them until you go looking. Um, so I want you to think about on July 4th, which is Thursday, I want you to think about independence. I want you all to be independent. You are independent Sensi Consultants. Not dependent. Independent. You are an independent woman. You are an independent man. You are more than a wife and a mother. You are more than the job that you are, that you have, that you go to. What makes you independent? Are you independent? Do you want to be independent? What does that look like and what does it take? You need to have the hard talk with yourself and figure that out. Because I believe independent women are a lot happier than dependent ones because you're kind of controlled when you're a dependent. Because dependents are kids, aren't they? Just a thought. So just wanted to bring that up because it's Independence Day on Thursday. So I get a little deeper than just the red, white, and blue. So um, T-shirts. Uh, we are, I'm putting the link up. If you want a team t-shirt, um, we are doing t-shirts for team day for um, Sensi Family Reunion. Um, they do not say Sensi Family Reunion on them and they do not say Sensi on them, but they do have our team name on the back. Um, so I will put the link up in the event tab in Team Wonder Bar. If you want one, all the, the details will be in that post and the cost and I need to have the money to me as soon as possible so we can order them and get them shipped from America. Um, so uh, anybody's welcome to order them. They're all gonna come to me. Um, it doesn't, you just have to be going to Reunion to get one. Um, and remember anytime you buy anything that says Scentsy, oh, this would be a team name on it so that would count too, but it's a tax deduction as well. 
Um, so if you're interested, everybody's welcome to get one. So just let me know. Um, went to that one, that one. Uh, using the word sensi. Um, me and Ange Russell had a conversation the other day because somebody invited me or I saw something when it scrolled by and I was like, she can't do that. It said somebody sensi VIPs or something sensi page or something sensi. I don't remember what her name was, but let's just say Beulah. Beulah Sensi VIPs. No, you can't use that word Sensi. And then we got we got chatting, me and Ange, and then we're like, well, if you can't use that, can you say so-and-so Sensi party? Because I do that. And I'm thinking, no, we can't. And it was a great point. Thanks, Ange. Um, and then we started thinking of other things. <laughs> so I wrote a letter to compliance and said, can you please help me on the word, the use of the word sensi? Basically, to put it in a really quick nutshell, you cannot use the word sensi on any social media platform without the words independent sensi consultant. Anything. So, when in my in my business page in my events where i put my customers parties it'll say monique sensi party yeah can't do that <laughs> so i'll go back to sniff and snack or sniff and sip or smelly session or whatever which is fine totally fine because sensi party kind of sounds boring anyway um when you the other thing that people tend to do that's really wrong and out of compliance is that when you, in your personal profile, it should say that you are a, that you work for, it should say independent sensei consultant. It should actually connect to your business page. But if you don't have one of those, it should not say sensei. You do not work for sensei. Dan Orchard and Faith Pocky, they work for Scentsy. Orville and Heidi Thompson work for Scentsy. You don't work for Scentsy. You work for yourself, but you use Scentsy products in your business, right? So it shouldn't connect to Scentsy or Scentsy Australia, New Zealand, or, you know, and sometimes I can, when I'm tagging you guys and things, I just go, because oh, it's in hyphens of Scentsy, and I'm like, no. Um, and there's a couple directors and superstar directors that I have to tell all the time, you can't do that. <laughs> That's out of compliance um, because I've become quite good at the compliance thing until this, obviously. Um, the big thing that you need to know is you don't work for Sensi. <laughs> simple, simple, simple. You don't work for Sensi. If it is, if you put, here's how they look at it. If I'm saying Monique Sensi party, now that looks like in the legal term, Sensi is putting on this party at Monique's. Not me. Sensi is. Because it's not Sensi who's doing the party. It's me. So come up with something more creative. <laughs> um, but yes, no Sensi. No VIP groups named Sensi. No business pages with the word Sensi unless it says independent Sensi consultant. No events called Sensi. Um, just don't do it. Just don't do it. <laughs> just don't use Scentsy on social media. Unless you're paying, you know, um, six Scentsy scent packs or a Scentsy buddy. Yeah, that, that's a name, that's a name of a product. And again, use your capitals and proper punctuation, please. Um, you are a business professional. Um, but yes, so I just thought I'd enlighten you on that one. Cause that was new to me too. So passing it on. Um, two more things. Wall diffusers. Who's excited for wall diffusers? Oops. Who's excited? Who's excited? If you watch the video that I recorded on my phone of Jacqueline's video, um, I am totally excited about them for so many reasons. They're 
there's no bulbs. Yahoo! Right now, that's my, my happy place right there. If it doesn't have a bulb, I'm happy. Um, yay! Normally, around this time, when transition starts, this next month is transition month, we really try to make sure that you do not share new products with your customers until the very last bit of August. Reason being is you tend to kill your sales in the current month and it affects everybody else's sales, especially like for me, a lot of my, my past customers who are now customers of my team members, they still see my things and I still see their team members things a lot of time. So are their consultants things. So if they're seeing it with me, it would affect my team members business. If they see their team members or somebody that still does business with me seeing somebody else, then it affects, oh, I'll just wait and not place that order. So this is how we normally go about it. There are some consultants that'll just show everything and share everything and, and whatever. It's up to you. If it's shared on workstation, you can share it. That's, that's the rule of the game. But out of being considerate and working your business smart with the current month at hand so that you hit your goals that month and you're paid at title and you're looking at a promotion and maybe your leader or your sponsor's looking at a promotion and things like that, you should just be, in my opinion, just a little bit considerate of other consultants. And um, don't give away the store. Don't show everything right away. You know, one of my favorite things to do is take a picture of, or take when we get the new catalog in our workstation, just take a screenshot and then blow it up so far that you can't actually see what the item is, but you can see the pattern and then share that as a teaser. Um, the diffuser came out and everybody was sharing it. And then there was a thing on, and I thought, you know what? It's one item. It's not the whole catalog. And honestly, I don't think it's hurt my sales. Um, however, it's helping me book parties in September. Because immediately, I haven't shared it everywhere. I've only shared it in my VIP group. And I said, oh my gosh, look what's coming. And I said, who wants to book their party in September so you can get yours for free or half price? It's not gonna be more than a diffuser. I know that. I don't know how much it's going to be, but it's not going to be a two credit item. There's just no way. The Sensi goes 92. I would think it's less than that or about that or whatever, but I don't think, and that's a one half price item. So even if, so why not use it to your advantage? Or, because I give many, see, this is the thing because we don't know the price yet. Um, Sometimes I give mini warmers away and go, whoever hosts a qualifying party in this certain month gets a free mini warmer of their choice. Yes, more mini warmers. Um, I seriously, I do a lot of mini warmers. <laughs> um, and I use the perpetual reward. So I get it for half price. So I don't know how much they're gonna cost, but if you need to use it as a booking tool, that's another way to use it as a booking tool. Um, or, you could even use it, uh, whoever books a qualifying party this month will get a blah, 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 a wall diffuser when they come out in September. But then you're gonna have to make sure you have enough parties to pop one on the perpetual reward. So that could get sticky if you're not a big party person. So, but those are just ideas. So that one item, I've already sold, people are like, I'll take one, I'll take one. So I've already sold a couple of them and they haven't even here yet. So that's the other thing. You can take pre-orders and then on the first of the month or the second of the month in September, you already have your party order in. You're already active or more, okay? So be wise when you use it, be strategic. Don't just like plaster it and then just leave it alone. When you post things on social media, you want to engage people. You want to make it your own. You want it to stand out. You want to use your own words. I speak very different than a lot of you guys. I say things that most people don't say or shouldn't say, um, but that's how I speak. And so my customers know whether I wrote that or not. They know whether it's canned and, and it's professional written by Cincy. You can totally tell the difference. 
I tend to swear. I try not to, but I do it in person more than I do it in type. But you have to make it your own. It has to speak. You have to connect with your customers and your friends and your family. You know, when I say things, it may not connect with certain people, but they'll connect with you. So what makes you unique? That's what you use when you post on social media. Um, so don't be afraid to share them, but just in as things come out, because um, Region 1's Sensi Family Reunion is this month, at the end of the month. So there's going to be things that are shown and things happening and products don't be sharing all the products just don't don't do it i'm asking you um because you still need to work in july and you need to work in august so just saying um bring back my bar starts probably around the 15th of this month so um for those of you that mm, most of you new ones you probably won't have anything in your report um, but some of you older seasoned consultants, um, you can run your bring back my bar report out of workstation in your sales report tab. And um, you need to be calling and contacting and emailing everybody your bring back my bar. Um, for those of you that are new, I would take a screenshot or um, use the PDF and email it to people. Do a MailChimp newsletter telling people these are coming back. If they want to keep them for longer and they don't ever want to lose them again, they need to put them in their Sensi Club order. That's what I was going to talk to you about. One of my customers and I, she's also a friend, we decided to, because she has a Sensi Club order, and with the new sense, because I want Southern Evening and Sunny and Cher, and possibly two of the other ones, but we thought it was stupid if we both pay shipping. So what we decided to do is we're going to load her Sensi Club up, and then we'll split shipping. So if there's a way, if people want things, ask them to go in with a Sensi Club order with a friend. That payment's going to come out every one month, two months, or three months, whatever they decide upon. But as long as that those bars are ordered, they will always continue to be made for you or for them. So to cut down on shipping, because shipping's a flat $15. So if somebody just wants a bar, that's a $11 bar and a $15 shipping. Now I have customers that do that because they want that bar. <laughs> But, and this is New Zealand pricing, just for anybody listening. Um, but if you, even if you split it, it's seven fifty each, and that's a lot nicer. And then, what if you had two more people? You know what I'm saying? So, if one person, if you have a cluster of you, and you just get your whiffs and your wax sent every three months, that's not that bad. So work on doing that you know find out where people live and maybe that you can meet for coffee and everybody can split up their their sensi club orders you know once a month or once every three months or something like that they do have to pay the person in charge of the sensi club because it's going to come off of their credit card but um but that's another way to kind of upsell your sensi club just an idea um but bring back my bar work the system i did this in um Mexico in January when I was there that was our last bring back my bar and I sat with my I printed out my report before I went on vacation and stuck it in my bag and one night when I was sitting in Mexico I went through and I contacted everybody about their bars discontinuing and I just text them and I said hey just to let you know one of the, your bars that you've ordered in the past is coming back for a limited time here is the scent and um if you love the scent and you don't want to ever let it go, you want to sign up for Scentsy Club. And then I gave them a Scentsy Club link to my PWS. Please let me know if you have any questions. And a lot of people wrote back and go, aren't you in Mexico? I, I am. <laughs> but I can work from anywhere. Um, and it's a nice distraction. So Earl had just passed away. So while I was sitting in, um, in my little apartment in Mexico at like 1 o'clock in the morning, nothing else was going on. So everybody was up in New Zealand. Might as well start texting him. So, um, so bring back my bar. And then finally, for those of you who don't know what bring back my bar is, actually I should quickly say, twice a year, people can, consultants and customers, people can vote to bring discontinue bar, discontinued bars back for a limited time. So that's what that is. So if you go to workstation and look, um, and you put bring, bring back my bar, in the search bar, you'll find details on that, but feel free to ask as well. Um, 
So finally, the last thing is Scentsy Family Reunion. We head to um, the Gold Coast, some of us, next month. If you still want to go, because it's, you should, in my opinion, just for the fun of it, for God's sakes, if for no other reason for the fun and the stuff. Um, Walk-ins will be available if you're a new consultant. Um, for those of you in America, yours is in Austin, Texas. Um, I believe walk-ins are still available as well, but if you're interested, please let me know. This is Beata and Beth. Um, and um, Australia, New Zealand is in, um, in the Gold Coast in Australia. So uh, you can pay at the door. You will get a kit. It might not be there. They may have to send it to you if they run out, but they will have things there and everything's ready to go. If you are a new consultant that has earned 1,000 PRV by the time that special started, you only have to pay $135 for your ticket, which is amazing because I think it was 305 or something like that for full price. Um, Ange and I earned ours for free and I also earned a free ticket for Chloe. So Earl's daughter Chloe is going to be coming with me. Um, Ange is bringing her husband. Uh, we can't wait to pick on Craig. And um, so it's a great, great time. It's only a couple days, um, but everybody seems to be extending, <laughs> but you don't have to. Um, and the Gold Coast is pretty inexpensive. So even when you share, everybody's sharing rooms and apartments and things like that. Some people are strangers. Some people know each other. It's just, a, you're not in your room that much. And really you can hang in ours except for sleeping. I mean, more or less. So, um, it's a great place for training, getting all your new products, because we're gonna get to see and touch and feel everything, um, as well as get, they've told us to bring extra luggage because we're gonna need more than a carry-on. So that's what they've told us. Um, so it's very, very exciting. Um, and you never regret it, never regret it. And usually after a reunion, the people that move up are the ones that went to reunion. Um, I know some of you can't and want to because of babies and things that are being born. So um, we will miss you, but we will get there next year. If I can say one thing, um, I would say start saving for next year. Uh, just put a little bit, I would say you need about $1,000. Maybe somebody said 1500 the other day. I was like, mm, maybe, yeah, maybe. But just start putting money away in a little secret account somewhere. Take your change, put it in a piggy bank, don't look at it, whatever. I don't know. Um, but don't, it's not, it's not too late to go, but you do kind of need to let me know so that I can get enough gifts because I give everybody gifts that goes and um, order t-shirts and things like that. So, all right, that is everything. Almost right on the button. Somebody write this date down. This never happens. Never happens. All right, anybody got any questions that I didn't talk about or things I did talk about, but you have more questions about it? I was wearing a Scentsy t-shirt just while this goes forward and the dog threw up on me. So this is where I'm in the house of the people I'm pet sitting for. This is the husband's shirt. I had to go in their closet and get a shirt. I'm like, uh oh. So I'm gonna have to leave him a note going, Curtis, I have your shirt. Any questions on anything? You have me here right now. Any questions? Um, I will tell you, I'm very, very proud of everybody. We had an amazing June. Amazing. Yes, I know the flash sale helped a lot, but there's a lot of work there that wasn't the flash sale. So I just want to say thank you for working. I know that seems really weird to say, but it makes me happy to know that people are going to have really good paychecks this month from Scentsy and that some people earn their promotions and some people earn some prizes and um, some people got active that would have been canceled this month. And um, we had one of our highest months ever in sales. So crazy the month before we had the highest month in sponsoring so now we just get everybody get working um so i am really proud of everybody so thank you um 
No questions? I guess that's it then. Have a wonderful, wonderful month. Get your calendar sorted. Figure out what days you're going to work and what times. I have not watched it all yet because I was too busy celebrating with Shonda becoming a superstar director. <laughs> but I started watching it. I haven't finished. So they always leave good, good little nuggets of teasers in their videos at the end of the month. Love them. Love them. Orville's looking a bit nice with his tan and his, he's got little stubbles going on. Did they say something's coming in July? Just out of curiosity, that would be really nice. I think we're all hoping for Lion King. That's the, that's the chatter in the director group. You're welcome, Glenda, thank you for coming. There is a director named Jose Rodriguez, Rodriguez, and he is freaking hilarious. And he seems to know things, let's just say that. And he comes into the director page and he asks, he goes, Dear Cincy, <laughs> and he writes funny messages and he asks for things and all of a sudden those things appear on our workstation within like a couple days. Two dates, give it to me. Give it to me, Annette. Two dates to look out for. That'll help me in my, I'm just planning my marketing for the month. So that'll help me with my planning of my marketing. What's, what? tell the gas in it. Do you want me to bring you, oh no, you're sick. I was gonna say, do you want me to bring you on camera? No, she'd kill me. She would decline that like a private phone call. She's probably laying in her bed with her Kermit the Frog green sheets. I was pick on her for those. It's like her green screen sheet, so we could put her on anything. <sighs> well, that doesn't help me. Damn it. All right. We all have to go find those dates now. Annette did the tease. So have a great, great month. Remember, if you need help or you want to move forward or you want to achieve things, to reach out to your sponsor. They don't help you <laughs> reach out to their leader. And if I'm that person, reach out to me um, and we will figure out a plan for you. And he said around the world very obviously. Yes, Orville, Orville is a hint dropper. It's quite funny. Heidi does too though. <laughs> Uh, we talk every day, Glenda, at least once a day through Marco Polo. Thank God for Marco Polo. If you want to get to know me and you want pep talks and you want um, real talks and you want to see me in my jammies and looking rough, you Marco Polo me. <laughs> um, that's how I get to know people really, really well is through Marco Polo. So um, it's easy to show people things. It's easy to train people that way. And it's easy to build relationships through Marco Polo. So it's also a great way to get used to being seeing yourself on video. Um, my mom still struggles a little bit with it. I know she's like, I hate talking to myself. Um, but it really does help you and it's private. So nobody else is going to see it. So. I'm in if they offer around the world trip in 80 days. Can you imagine? I don't think, I don't, yeah, I don't think that's. <laughs> they play innocent on the Lion King. Yeah, I think that one's too easy. I think they'd be idiots to not have a Lion King something. So I'm just hoping oh, it can't be a bar. It'd be cute to have a buddy clip though. I'm, I'm, someone's gonna slap me for saying this, but I'm over buddies. I know you guys love your buddies. I'm just like, um, I would like something weird, something that we haven't had, a buddy, a little lion buddy clip or, um, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go, we'll go listen to it. All right, guys, have a great night. For those leaders on here that have team members that aren't on the team page, um, because they're non-Facebookers, weird. Um, sorry, weirdos, if you're watching the recording on YouTube. Um, 
I will post this to YouTube. Um, no. I think we killed the Scrubby Buddies. I didn't sell any of those. Oh, no, I sold one or two. That's not where the money is. Yeah. I used to tell people that they could use a Scrubby Buddy for date night. Anyway. <laughs> Whatever took to sell them at that point. Um... So yeah, have a great night. Have a great month. Make it count. We have an exciting two months coming. So make this month a month that you prep. Work this month. Get your goals this month. But prep hard for August and September. Because August and September is going to be easier than this month for sure. If you do it, if you do it ahead of time. Do it ahead of time. It's a lot easier. Oh, of course you did in it. She probably watched your bird or your dragon with them, didn't you? Maybe that's how you have to get Doris to like you. Hello, Siobhan. All right, I'm out. Love you guys. Very, very proud of you. Have a great, great month. Bye.